God lives and works today. His greatest miracle is what He does to the hearts of men. Is that not the deepest longing of us all, that our hearts be changed? Today's meditation, A Changed Heart, by Basileus Schlink, will share how we can do this. How does the word repentance sound to you? Do you register it in a positive or a negative way? Repentance is a gift of grace. This grace not only opens our eyes for love, but it also prepares us for the fellowship of Jesus' sufferings. Peter has proven this. Peter says to the resurrected Lord, Thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. What a powerful statement Peter could say with his whole heart. Thou, who searchest all things, who knowest what is happening in the whole universe, who knowest my very heart and what is in it, thou knowest that my heart is consumed with love for thee, Lord Jesus. Yes, Peter could say that in spite of the fact that he had denied Jesus. His great sin of denial brought him tears of repentance. These tears of repentance washed his eyes so that he could see Jesus as he is, as the man of sorrows, filled with ceaseless love, who can still lovingly behold those who tortured him. Because this happened to Peter, his heart was gripped with such a love that he had to confess, I love thee, I cannot do other than love thee. My heart and my whole being, everything that I am and have, all I can do is give it to thee. And Peter verified his love indeed. Love to you, our love we proffer, such as we no other offer, love for all you. The sign of those who have this great love which is born out of repentance is they want to be with Jesus, he whom they love, no matter what it costs. They even want to tread his path of sufferings with him. They never want to forsake him. Have you got this love for Jesus? Is it yours through tears of repentance? If we wish to attain and nourish this love, our decisive plea must be this. Show me ever anew that I am only a sinner before God and man. Grant me ever anew a contrite heart, Lord, a heart that can cry over its sin and guilt. Don't let me shy away from the pain which it costs to recognize and confess my sins ever anew. Jesus hears such pleas, and he'll answer them. Sweet Lord of life, I will now strive no more to grieve you and burden your loving heart sorrow laden repentant tears my Savior cheers followed by praise and rejoicing love and my gratitude voicing this program by Basileia Schlink has come to you from the little land of Canaan if you would like a free leaflet by the same author, please write to God Lives and Works Today, 9849 North 40th Street, Phoenix, Arizona, 85028-4099. That's God Lives and Works Today, 9849 North 40th Street, Phoenix, Arizona, 85028-4099. God bless you. 